Good afternoon, everyone. I had a, a, what's over 45 minute conversation with President Zelensky uh, earlier today. Uh, it is um, really a, an honor to just be on the call with somebody so courageous, uh, so determined, uh, and so strategic in his thinking about how to protect his country. The assault that Putin has made on, on uh, Ukraine is an assault on democracy. So the Ukrainians are not only defending their country, they're defending democracy. We talked about a range of issues, including what the, the crimes against humanity that Putin is committing about. Uh, today, the news was that they bombed a maternity hospital, killing babies, children, moms. This is the beast that Putin is. What we would like to do is for the people of Russia to understand that, and of course, he's blanking out a lot of that. So, uh, in any event, it takes us to our other bill today, which is uh, the Russian energy ban, uh, ban the import of Russian oil and energy products in the U.S. I mentioned that, cutting off major source of revenue for Putin. This is about jobs and money there. Take steps to review Russia's access to W-2 and explore how to further diminish Russia in the global economy. Um, reauthorize and strengthen the global Magnitsky uh, human rights accountability. Staving off some of the assaults on America's working families uh, that the Republicans continue to be engaged in. He, one of the things he called upon, of course he wants planes, he wants anti-missile uh, weaponry, he wants armored cars, he wants a number of tanks, but he also uh, uh, he wants the planes, the planes, the planes, you know that. But he also said that we're going to need everybody's help in rebuilding Ukraine soon as we end this war. He was very positive about that. Um, what did he have to say about that, and where do you stand on that? Well, I, I had um, last week and this week conversations with the Speaker of the, of the Parliament of Ukraine, and that was... And in, in correspondence that he sent us and the rest, that has always been one of the things they ask for. But they know that we can't go there. Uh, the, the, Putin is trying to bait the trap so that uh, we co go in, and that's the beginning, could be the beginning of World War III. Uh, Putin, totally irresponsible, using weapons that are not allowed under the Geneva Con Convention. Putin, who uh, threatens chem use of chemical weapons, um, nuclear and the rest. So they know that we can't, but it's the ask. Now, he was uh, this morning more, let's, if we can't have an, if we can't have a no-fly zone, let us have our own and we need the airplanes to come in. No, no, wait, no, no. This morning he was more, less on the, on the ask for the, um, uh, the policy more on let us do it, help us get the planes. But also, there is a school of thought that thinks the anti-aircraft missiles and the rest are a very important way. Myself, when I see that, that those tanks, that 40 miles of tanks, I'd like to take out those tanks. I mean, I, I think that air, uh, them having more planes might be useful, but that I'm not a, a military str strategist. We hope that we will be able to get up to a place, I hope, you ask me how, I've, I hope that we can get to a place where the uh, MiGs, which are the kinds of planes they've been trained on, can go to Ukraine, the F-16s, especially if we have an excess of them, uh, can backfill for Poland. Well, 